So, if you understood that, then, um, <clears throat> if you understood that, then, uh, what she was saying, if you didn't understand that, I mean, what she was saying was, um, why is it that a Comstock and another reality is really young when one in this reality is old and dying? Uh, and then the first one said, uh, baptism. It was a reference to the baptism. So, to a baptism. <laughs> the baptism. The one and only. <laughs> the only one that ever happened ever. Oh, she's mad. I still don't know if it's a man or like a bird. Okay, so this part's pretty cool. So like you can use Elizabeth to call in Songbird to do things like this. Why isn't it doing it? There it goes. And then he attacks it. This part on 1999 mode was very difficult. But believe it or not, the not the most mo the bit not the most difficult. The most difficult, the siren. Yeah. That shit. Almost impossible. Took me like two hours. Well for like each not each fight, but two hours overall. What's the gunship? The only reason I lived through nighttime my mode is because 1999 mode is because I found a um I found a vigor that made it so I was indestructible if I jumped off of a off a sky rail. So since there's sky rails everywhere, I would just like hop on one and hop off, and I'd be indestructible for a little while. And it's pretty nice. I mean, like, 99.9 mode. Oh my god, why is it so hard to say? It's not really, like, impossible. It just requires patience. There's parts that are really hard, but... I mean, you can get through it if you're patient. I did not mean to pick this up. Oh my god! Songbird! Go, go, songbird! Go, go, songbird! Go, go, songbird, go! There we go. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Uh, nope. So yeah, um, that everyone. So yeah, that's the only way I really made it. that, and um, I had the sheltered life thing, uh, on there too. Man, it's fun to make people blow themselves up. What a horrible timing. What, what a horrible timing. What terrible timing. Whatever. Alright. Here come the Zeppelins. This whole thing ends once you uh, destroy all the Zeppelins. Which I don't know if there's a way to destroy them yourself. Or if you have to make Songbird do it. Never really tried. I didn't try in my first playthrough. And... Um... In 1999 mode, I could not leave the ship. Like, if I left the ship, they destroyed it. Not literally, but it might as well have been that. So I might as well try it now. I believe there's another Zeppelin over here. Nope. Never mind. There's a barge, though.
Wow, oh, man, he smacked me with a miss. Yeah, yeah, shoot the Patriot in the back for extra damage. Buy a nickel for every time the game told me that, I swear to God. I wouldn't need to go to work in an hour, because I'd be rich. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shoot that guy in the butt. I just missed. There we go. Oops. Give me a second, I'm tearing off someone's face. Thank you. So horrible, but so awesome. Give me a second. Okay, give me ammo. Give me ammo? Why did you not give me ammo anymore, you bitch? There you go. Cool, he can destroy one of these Zeppelins coming up. Bye bye, Zeppelin. Alright, let's see if I can destroy this other one. Bird gets the one, I hopefully get the other. It looks like I can make that jump. Yeah, alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Time to tear this shit apart. I don't th I don't think I could do this in the first one. Like, my first playthrough. I'm pretty sure I didn't try. But I may have, because this is seemingly familiar. I know there's the one where you, uh... Have to destroy the Zeppelin, but... This... It feels like I've did this... I've done this to this one before. Holy shit. I am nowhere close. <laughs> Move, idiot! Oh shit! I cannot make that. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Yeah! Whew! Close one. Thought I did. Thank you. It's it's weird. Every time I heal, my health doesn't get frozen. Because I had it in the first playthrough and my 1999 one. Songbird can wait a cotton pick in second. I know it. Right here. <laughs> if you use Songbird on little things, like people, he comes back quicker. So if, that's why he takes long to come back if you use him on the Zeppelin. Yeah, but is there anything else left to fight? I don't think so. <laughs> so here we are. Um, that place. Columbia, that's the one. I don't know why, like, it's like, oh, it's over. Because there's still, like, tons of ox around. I guess they're just like, oh, whatever. We'll just, we'll just drive with them, see what happens. Like, I know it's over for us because we're at the statue and that's what we want. We don't care about the anything else. What is it? But, do you think the box would keep attacking? Tells her to do it, takes the friggin' flute. This far, I don't really understand. Well, this I understand. This right here. First off, his bandage disappeared. Secondly, all he did was drop the whistler. He could have easily just picked it back up. Where is he? Where is he? I was flipping out at this part. So, uh, not about this. This is sad. I'll be quiet for it. I wasn't the first time. Elizabeth, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, he's dead. At the bottom of Rapture. Hey, look. A big daddy. What is this place? A little sister crying. Elizabeth? Anyway, so yeah, we're at Rapture. Um, if you never played the first Bioshock, where are you going? It's the place, the first Bioshock takes place. This is the very beginning of the game. Is there an answer here? Do you? Um, I was been out. I am a little bit still now too. Like this is where you get your first plasmid. It's the uh, electrocution thingy. You fall down here, and then you actually go this way. But that's destroyed. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't understand is like. She takes you to this place, but they don't tell you what year it is. So I'm curious to see if it's post Bioshock or pre Bioshock. Because I think there's a big daddy dead over there. It means it's occupied by crazy people who kill people. So it's got. Like, that doesn't necessarily mean it's pre or post Bioshock. But like right there is where you get the wrench for the first time. It's just weird, you know? Like, it'd be cool if they give you a year. Why? What is going on? Elizabeth, what do you mean that this is a doorway? to show you. So yeah, you get in here. So when I was playing through my 1999 one, she like sat down there. That was funny. Just because then she just stood right back up. She's like, I'll have to show you. Sat down and was like, whoop, like just shot up really quick. So again, if you never played Rapture, this is the intro scene backwards. Pretty nifty keen. I was jizzing, jizzing in my uh, nerd pants. Because uh probably said it during the Let's Play at some point. But Bioshock's one of my favorite games ever, period. And um, this one, it's debatable whether or not it's better. Honestly, like they're both really good games. She's talking about the stars. She's talking about the stars. stars. Yeah, the stars. Ten. Come on. Come on, it's this way. Oh man, what's going on? What's this way? I'm a curious beaver. I totally know everything that happens. Are you going to open it? I don't know why there's a lighthouse in the middle of the fucking ocean. I could fully control it. I thought. What is that? Like, how do they justify that ever? Just. Like, who finds a lighthouse in the middle of the ocean? It's like, oh yeah, that's fine. They're supposed to warn you. They're supposed to warn boats when there's land coming. So this is where I said this is some Nightmare Before Christmas shit right here. Because um, if we've watched Nightmare Before Christmas, um, it's a part where he gets to a bunch of doors that lead to different holidays. And like alternate um, universes. That's what this is. So yeah, there's multiple ways to go, but they both they all lead the same way. Look. It's us. Not exactly. We swim in different oceans but land on the same shore. It always starts with the lighthouse. I, I don't understand. You don't need to. Have them all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There's so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Parker, I've already been. That shit still confuses me. Don't worry, I'll give you a synopsis when we're done here. Can I not go this way? Huh. So 
say, like, this is really pretty right now. But again, it doesn't matter which lighthouse you go to, I'm kind of just walking. You can see little, like, Elizabeths and Bookers running around. Right, see right there, if you pay attention. I never, you never see them going to doors or anything. You kind of see them run. There's nothing here to pick up. Or nothing. Wait a minute. I didn't know this place. I was here. 20 years ago, right, right after Wounded Knee. I was looking for... Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. No, I don't want to. You already did, didn't you? Are you ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Father, make him Stop it. Again. Stop it. Get off me. Get off. Me. Get off. You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river is going to change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. Hey, look. These doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. She's again intense. I really can't say anything. Because the spoilers are in my mind. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. So, like, all I was saying, literally, if you didn't watch the other video, it was like, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on? Dude, here, I'll, I think I remember exactly what I said. I'll do this a bit. What the, what the hell? That baby no looks a lot like Elizabeth. Is that... There was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. So if this baby's Elizabeth and it's my baby, does that mean? No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. I can see all the doors, and what's behind all the doors, and behind one of them, I see him. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. no baby. The deal was I go to Columbia to get you. Okay. Oh. I remember. But I remember. Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit to be much of his mood. Come on. What are we doing here? Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need to. You mean like Chen Li? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. Hey. Hey, the deal is off, you hear me? The deal is off! Give her back! Give her back! Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's Lady! Go! No! No, no, no! No! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Give me back my daughter! No! Yup. Yup. Elizabeth is.
Booker Dewitt's baby. Also, Anna. Anna DeWitt, that's what the AD stands for. Twenty years. Until one day, a man came to you, offered you a chance for redemption. A chance for us to be together. That's the only way to do it. Get back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. This part's pretty intense. Of course it is. I remember when. What? You're not. You're not. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You were born again as a different man. Oh, it all has to end. You have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crib. Smother. 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 When a choice is made before you are reborn. He's Zachary Costa. He's a to do it. No. They're both. And that's the end of the game. Pretty mind fucking, huh? Right? So you can understand, you know, why I felt so mind fucked at the end. My reaction for the rest of the credits was just like, I, I, I had just fucking, fucking, Booker's Comstock. Fucking, what the fuck, man? <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin with how to explain this. But it all does make sense. Um, so, like, the twins. Okay. The chick lived in Comstock's reality. And she 
uh, was figuring out how to open up the tears with machines and whatnot. Uh, and she eventually, like, found out how to get them to work to open up portals to new realities. And she was doing this because she, when she started to work with them, she could hear herself in a different reality, but as a man, her quote-unquote brother, the other twin. And that guy was from Booker DeWitt's reality. I think. I don't, I'm not sure on that one. But, um, they could hear each other through realities, and they worked with each other to build a machine so that they could be with one another. And, um, she got the resources from that from Comstock. And Comstock was using it, using the machine to see into the future, or different realities that were similar to his own to see into the future, so that he could predict it and gain the trust of people. Um, but Comstock was sterile, be and he, the, due to overexposure from the machine, he was dying. He got tumors in his brain, and he's his body started raging, uh, raging. It started aging rapidly, and um, he couldn't. He, it made him sterile. And the Archangel, the little angel that he saw that told him to do all this. I still don't understand how he saw an archangel, but he saw the archangel said that when he dies, his seed has to take the seat, the the throne, or else everything he did, did will be undone. So, but since he can't have a child, he makes Booker Dewitt in debt to him somehow. I guess by going to his reality and buying a horse track. They don't under they don't explain that. Uh, but then. Uh, I guess they threaten him and his daughter's life, Booker, and Anna, that is. And then they say, there's only one way out of it, give us Anna, and we won't kill you and your daughter. I guess that's the only way he would give away the girl, I'm assuming. Or he was just like, oh, I don't want to owe you money, here's my kid. So, he gives him Anna. Anna goes into the new reality with Comstock, and becomes Elizabeth. Uh, the one thing I don't understand is how, um, because Booker is Comstock, if you didn't get that, he was at the Battle of Wounded Knee, and he killed a bunch of innocent Indians, and he couldn't live with himself, so he's going to go through baptism to be reborn, but at the last second, he decided not to, and he decided to find a different way to live with his sin, to stay as Booker DeWitt, and just live his life as who he is, but in a different reality, he went through with the baptism, and chose the new name Zachary Comstock and then he went on to do all the things Comstock did and Booker DeWitt went on to you know go live with his daughter that one thing I don't understand is the age difference between Booker DeWitt and Comstock the machine um it aged him rapidly and that's why he looks so old but what I don't understand is he said it was 20 years ago that he was at Wounded Knee but his kid's only one or like two, it's only a baby. So, that's probably not even two, it's like one tops. And, so what I just don't understand is, how old was he when he went to the war? Did he already have Elizabeth? Or Anna? And when he like came back, like, what the hell, like, was, did he come back and just immediately have Anna with somebody? And then his wife died during childbirth. And then he got in debt. That's the only thing I can think of. But he's only like 40. From what I can tell. He's like mid 40s tops. So. I guess he was like. And then she said that. Um, he spent 20 years. In like regret. Just laying around doing nothing. So that means he had to be. Like 25. When he had Elizabeth. Or something. And then 20 years passed by, and he was like 45 when they came and got him. There's, there's, there's not a lot of plot holes. There's, all, there's like, not. I want to call. It, I won't even call them plot holes. I would just say like, um, like I don't understand why, um, because the twins got betrayed by Comstock, and they wanted to go back and stop him from using Elizabeth to destroy the world or destroy New York. So they went back to get Booker to go save Elizabeth. What I don't understand is, they could obviously alter reality in the world that Elizabeth was at. 
So I guess they just want Booker to be with Elizabeth. But why not just get Booker right after he gave Anna away? You know? Why not just be like, hey, while he was like young and stronger, and then send him there. But, you know, whatever. I, that was that's no big deal. It's just me wondering. Excuse me. The other thing I don't understand is why didn't they just explain it to Booker? Like when they pull up through the portal, be like, hey, I know this is kind of fucking crazy, but we learned how to alter time and space to make it a bitch and go to different realities and explain everything to him and be like, okay, so go save your daughter. You know? That way he would have been like, oh, shit, okay. And so being like, I know it would have been, it wouldn't have been as good of a game, but I'm saying story sake. I'm actually going to skip this because I have to leave for work in four minutes. Um... There is something at the end of the credits, but I'll explain what it. I'll explain what happens if it doesn't show it. Oh, it actually doesn't show it. That's kind of neat. If you wait through the credits, um, first off, there's a scene. If you remember the guitar part I did earlier, uh, there's a scene of the real life voice actors for Elizabeth and um, Booker. Uh, I think it's the voice actor for Booker anyway. I know it's the voice actor for Elizabeth, but the guy has a guitar and they're just singing that whole song. That's a nice little thing. Uh, so the credit's pretty long, and I have to leave in three minutes, so, so I'm sorry about that. But the ending scene is Booker DeWitt in 1892, October 8th. I know there's just a calendar right on his desk. Uh, it's him at his desk, and he stands up, and it's after everything you just saw. And then he... Um, he just stands up and goes, Anna? And then he opens the door to see if Anna's there, and it cuts to black. You see the crib. So you don't know if Anna's there, though. Or if it's like, you know, nothing. Um, the reason behind this is uh, if you saw the Elizabeths disappearing toward the end, like right after they killed uh, Booker and Comstock, it means that Comstock was never born in any reality, which means they never did anything they were supposed to do, those Elizabeths. So, like, they never were kidnapped by Comstock or anything, so they just went back to where they were. So I guess you took the place of a of Booker as if he never is that that's what doesn't make sense. It's cause like if you kill Booker at the Battle of Wounded Knee then that was before he had Anna, so Anna should have never been born period. To to my logic. That's what that's what I understand. Unless he went to war after Game Boy Anna. Which still doesn't really make sense. Because then who the hell... That doesn't make sense. Because he said that she said that he spent 20 years in that room alone. See, it's still like... It's still a process. It's still like a mind fuck. There's a lot. But I mean, there's a lot there that's confusing. It's really confusing. But it, again, it's perfect overall. Like, all the references to baptism that go on... You know, you get baptized in the beginning of the game, and you know he's like, "Oh, that guy has to learn the difference between baptizing someone and drowning someone," and that's the way you actually die, or quote unquote die, because at the end again you're alive, and it's obviously, obviously Booker. It's the Booker you're playing as, because you have control over him, and he's like, "Anna, Anna, is that you?" Like he knows that she may not be there, so obviously he knows something going on. I suppose that would just to give you like a little tip of the hat, say like he got re him and Anna got reset. So, he still remembers everything he did. Um, but... It's as if Comstock was never born. And not Booker. Like, Booker stayed alive. I don't understand how that works. Maybe it's a bit of a cop-out. I don't know. But, what I do understand is that, that this game is amazing. Um, wow. This is 50 minutes long. I was expecting this to be like... 30 minutes or something. <laughs> uh, so, thanks for watching. Um, sorry that the original ending got taken away, but I think this is a bit better, because this is the third time I beat this now, so I'm, I'm, I'm a bit more, uh, well advised to be talking about the ending, whereas the other one was just like, that was, uh, that was good. Josh, I like the part where stuff happened. Man, that was good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, the next one's going to be... Battle Block Theater with Viral Wreck or Donkey Kong Country Returns with Hey Den. The next single player one will probably be 
I don't know, maybe Psycho Nuts. I keep teasing Psycho Nuts. <laughs> Until then, you guys, thanks for watching and stay stoned.